part, so... Hey, the card looks pretty good. I like this armor. I'm gonna run around the Sith armor, because it's funny. So, between recordings, I was contemplating why this Star Wars was well-received and modern Star Wars isn't. Because this story was... It has been beloved and has such a strong fan base. And I think I think it's interesting seeing the internet's discourse over the remake that we have confirmed, but honestly, anything is possible at this point. Just was robbed from a family. Yes, I am a true Sith. It's really interesting to me how... How, how people like me who love the OG are very concerned for for a remake because it's just and I know there's a lot of people who are also very excited and I'm very much like cautiously excited I'm not looking for any trouble with <laughs> you Sith please just leave me alone you okay to talk to another Sith Can I talk to the protocol droid? Greetings and good day. I know you're returning to your smell today. All hail the Sith. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. All hail the Sith. Yes, all hail the Sith. God, that's what I'm going to be saying from now on. All hail the Sith. Oh, can I talk to them? Greetings, my Sith friends. Rest assured, I have all the proper permits to be here, spreading my message. Feel free to stay and listen if you wish. You'll find my message most enlightening. Okay. Sounds good. What I was trying to say is that I I think there's a lot that it, I think people, because I'm somebody who's also, okay, that's a Sith base. Because I'm also somebody who's very, very concerned about the remake. Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Um, I'm gonna finish my thought because we get launched straight into a cutscene. I'm very... I'm very concerned about the remake because I just... We saw what happened with, like, the sequels because the sequels... They didn't understand Star Wars, and I have nothing against if people enjoyed them. I personally, um, eight and nine don't exist to me, but I don't have anything against anyone who enjoys them. Uh, seven, it was definitely just a rehash of A New Hope, um, but I enjoyed it for what it was when it came out, and if I felt like it, I may just pop it into my DVD player and watch it at some point. I don't hate it, whereas the other two are so not Star Wars to me that I just, I, I can't even acknowledge that they exist. Um, but when I say that I have no, no problem if somebody enjoys them, and I think it's really ridiculous how people are kind of go around and are like, well, what which part of Star Wars do you like? And then you kind of say what star part of Star Wars you like. And then all of a sudden it's, oh, you're not a Star Wars fan just because you don't happen to like the same era that I like. And it's so ridiculous and petty to me. But I also, I understand how, how we got to that point. That OG fans in particular were very much old fan, people who were fans before, um, before, uh, what was the seventh movie called? The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens. That's how memorable it was. I couldn't even remember the name of it. Um, I understand the frustration because I remember being frustrated with new fans. Um, and it just, even though it kind of tried to capture the feel of Star Wars, I think what made KOTOR work is that they under the people who made it understood Star Wars. The dialogue feels like Star Wars. It... It admits Star Wars. It doesn't feel like a generic sci-fi movie. It it has the Star Wars feel to it. The aliens are there. 
I think another problem that the original, that the sequel trilogy suffered from was we got all kinds of aliens and I didn't recognize any of them. At points I felt like I was watching like a fan made version of Star Trek at points because like the aliens, you would get the odd alien that was a part of the original canon, but then so often they'd just like whip out like 30 new alien species and I'm like, but what about all the other ones that have been established? Like. I know it's a universe that is huge and it takes up a whole galaxy, so you're gonna get all kinds of new, um, new species, depending on where you're at. But it was so strange to me that, like, we went through the whole, the whole sequel trilogy and I don't need, I, did we see a Twi'lek? Did we? In this game, it does, it does a really good job of, it bring, it has all these species in it that are front, that you know that you know and have been established, so it feels like Star Wars. And I'm not saying you, can, you can't add new species, because there is a new species in this game that was added, that only exists in KOTOR, I think. I don't think it made it past KOTOR in any old canon lore. Um, the point I was trying to make with this is that I think it's... They encapsulated the feel of Star Wars and... Other than some people who vehemently hate KOTOR 2 because they think that Kreia is too pretentious and is a mouthpiece for Chris Avalon to spew his hatred of Star Wars when, okay, if that's what you took away from it, fine, but I think you're completely wrong. That doesn't mean I hate you. That doesn't mean... Uh, I want you to die or anything, I just simply disagree with you, and I think that in order to create a deconstruction of Star Wars like he did, you have to love Star Wars. So I disagree. Again, that doesn't mean that I hate you or anything. I simply respectfully disagree. That was your opinion? Fine. Uh, but KOTOR 1, I don't see much hatred for the lore or anything, or the game itself, other than combat new players disliking the combat and that's just because it's an old video game that's not even to do with the story or anything um maybe i'm wrong maybe there is a large group of people who hate the first kotor game but it managed to do a new star wars story it managed to do a different era and it didn't piss off fans and i think that's because it respected the source material and it kind of it does a because this is 5,000 years before the OT trilogy the original it it's respectful of it and that it it goes okay what would life have been like in the galaxy 5,000 years before that technology would have been different things would have looked different and you see that like the Sith look have different uniforms um you have the the Star Wars aesthetic and the and how buildings are designed and stuff, but it still, it feels, it feels fresh. It takes the style and the, um, aesthetic of it, but it doesn't... Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. But it doesn't rehash the same thing, the other than... Walks among us. Okay, I need to get away from this dude so I can continue talking. It... Even though, yeah, this looks like Coruscant, um, it doesn't feel like Coruscant in the same way, even though, yeah, Terrace is definitely that way. Um, I think, I think it, I think the reason KOTOR is beloved and works is because it didn't try to fix what wasn't broken. And I feel like the Silicon Trilogy tried to fix what wasn't broken. They just ignored everything, they were disrespectful from, to the original fans, which then created this divide of people who were new to it and enjoyed what they saw, and then were kind of like, why do the original fans hate it so much? And then there kind of wasn't, everyone just kind of screamed at each other on into the void of the internet, and nobody kind of listened to, like, like the new fans weren't like, okay, what? why do you hate this so much? Why is it not Star Wars to you? Oh, okay, that's why. Okay, well, I like it, and then, and when people are like, oh, but I like the sequel trilogy, 
I have no problem with that. If you enjoyed it, great. I'm glad there are people out there that enjoyed it because those three movies did employ people. And I'm sure there were a lot of people in the lower ranks of making those movies that put a lot of heart and soul into it. And so for there to be a group of people that do appreciate what some people put into that into that trilogy, I think that's great. Um, but for me, it's not Star Wars. It feels like a knockoff Walmart version to me. Where it was just, it was just a fan film trilogy by different people that was on a budget. It just... Whereas to me, the reason I think I am particularly love KOTOR so much, even from the other two trilogies, is because the other two trilogies still have kind of a fight going on between like oh which one's the best one like why does it have to be a competition which is why i love kotor other than people going no i prefer two no i prefer one i love them both a ton and i think because there's less drama within the the kotor community and it's still star wars and it's kind of like it's this little niche that that isn't in the big, like, general big audience. It's just, like, it's an old video game, which kind of lo kind of keeps new casual gamers away. Like, the number of times on the internet I've seen people go, I'm currently on Terrace, and I hate this game, and their only reason they hate it is because the combat, and it's just how video games were made 20 years ago. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it definitely kind of creates this natural gatekeeping that isn't done by the fans, per se. It's simply, it's old. And my fear with getting the remake is that it's going to, either they're going to, my fear is if they change the story and then as OG fans are pissed because the remake has a different story. And then you're going to get all these new players who become fans of KOTOR and then behave and act like the original didn't exist and then disrespect the old fans and then the old fans get mad and then start gatekeeping as a retaliation, um, trying to protect what they love. And I'm not saying either side is in the right, it just seems to be what happens when you have an old IP. And then you try to bring in a younger generation of fans. And then there's kind of this clash that happens. And again, I'm not saying either side is in the right or the wrong. I've, it's just an observation. And my concern is that that will happen with the remake. We'll have all these new people in. And I have nothing wrong with new fans. I have nothing wrong with that. It's just sometimes there's a handful of them that can be super disrespectful of the OG fans and then the whole group is kind of like well why are these OG fans gatekeeping and I'm like Be it's it becomes this disastrous sh shit storm on the internet and ultimately it's kind of just if the internet didn't exist a lot of this wouldn't be a problem but the internet exists and I know I've gone on a really really weird like 15 minute tangent here um the long and short of it is, um, right now we have a very decent and civil fan base for KOTOR, and KOTOR is this weird niche, like, like the old canon books, or, or the comic books for Star Wars, and I'm worried because I know how much KOTOR 1 and 2 fans, I, I, I feel the same way about SWOTOR, it does not I don't view it as KOTOR 3, like Bioware wants you to think of it as. Uh, I tried to get into it, and it just wasn't for me. And I have no problem if you really enjoy SWOTOR. I'm happy that there are people out there that enjoy SWOTOR. It's just not for me, and it doesn't feel like KOTOR, it doesn't feel Old Republic to me. And then them trying to be like, oh, it's connected, it's KOTOR 3, and I'm like, it happens 300 years after KOTOR 2, so how exactly is that KOTOR 3? KOTOR 3 was originally supposed to be you playing as a single-player RPG hunting down the Sith in the Outer Rim. That was the original concept for KOTOR 3. So a 
MMO that is all these different classes and storylines and has some really odd plot points that I've heard about in the broad strokes of the game and the expansions and stuff just doesn't feel like KOTOR when the original KOTOR 3 we were supposed to get was another single player RPG. My hope is that maybe if they get a remake right, we'll get the KOTOR 2 remake and hopefully they can actually finish the game. That's really why I'd want KOTOR 2 redone is so that they can finish the game and have all the threads and plot points and storylines tied in a nice bow because they ran out of time and couldn't finish it. And even with Restore Content Mod, there are some unanswered questions with companions and stuff where it just never gets answered and never gets finished. Um, if both of them did well, did really, really well, and they didn't, um, and they were respectful to the original fans and didn't piss us off while trying to just pander and cater to a new audience. Um, you would you would hope that they would learn from that mistake, but honestly, these big companies never seem to. Um, I don't even know if this rambling on is making any sense at all. So, let's continue before I talk for another half an hour. Long and short of it is, is that I really love the KOTOR community, and I really hope it doesn't turn into the rest of the Star Wars community by the having a remake. These cutscenes are so strange nowadays. <laughs> Oh, I'm supposed to be reading this. We'll teach you who's strongest. Oh, I totally forgot to read that dialogue. Sorry, guys. There's something weirdly charming about the old video games. Sithar, welcome here. Okay, it's, I don't have it. I have to wait on using flurry. Hey. Now I have become very accustomed to more action based combat, but this is still nice. There's something chill about it. Um. Let's get the Twi'lek corpse. I must have been a really dumb. Whoops, I didn't know I was gonna activate you two. Okay. Let's get you two. I must have been a really dumb child because difficulty mode, I'm not really finding that hard. My pack. I must not understand. It took me forever to understand how to do a proper build for Kotor because like, they, they don't. They they. It's that old game style of um. Just we're not going to hold your hand through this. You're just going to have to figure it out. Good luck. And I really love that. It's infuriating when you're trying to figure out the game initially, but I love that. And I, I feel like that's maybe another reason people find it so hard to get into this is because. It's um. Because it doesn't really hold your hand like a modern stuff does. Cantina! 
Hey there, it's not a GMA people speak to me anymore. Mm, most prefer the fancy surroundings of the upper city, Cantina. Okay, dude. You done chit chatting? Whoops, I. But nobody up there carries the kind of pizzazz cards I sell. Are you interested in purchasing to individual cards to bolster your pizzazz? What are you talking about? Uh, who are you? What are you talking about? Talking about Pizak! You know, high stakes gambling? Uh, cards are better your chances of winning. Yeah, better cards. My name is something and uh, some alien thing. Um, my prices are quite reasonable. So, what do you say? Uh, show me what you have for sale. Ba -ba -da. Um, not a great stock, but yeah, whatever, dude. Ooh, plus minus cards are amazing. Oh, plus minus. I feel like <coughs> plus minus cards are what you want. Um, I feel like I should wait to get more. I'm gonna get more credits before I hey, invest. Stranger. My name is Gelroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the upper mm. city cantina. Why did you get banned? Oh yeah, I love it when I ask a question and then the dialogue option is right there. Why were you banned? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the game. So what if I win 15 matches in a row? That doesn't mean I cheat. There's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I was banned from the upper cantina. Since then, I've been desperate to find a match. Uh. If you're ever okay. looking for a match and you get tired of posturing in the upper cantina, just come down here and find me. I'll play you anytime. Okay, so two Pazak players now. Go away. Cantina music's always bopping. Hey! You not like that? Uh, we just want to say hi to Big Bad Bounty Hunter Kalo Nard. Nah, we can't be called. Uh, we're supposed to be tough. This guy is nothing but a runt. Uh, I can't read. One. One or what do you mean? You be funny, tough guy. You know who you are, Kalo. Members of the Black Volker gang. Woo, we're part of the gang. Um. Me, no understand. One, two. Why he count? How many of us is against him? It's three against one. What do you think about those odds? Well, you have something. Oh my god. How did these do have these aliens never heard of the countdown? Can I talk to you? <laughs> I saw how you mopped those nice work. <laughs> okay, okay. You don't scare me. I'm not looking for a fight, I just want to talk. Fine, I get it. I'll leave you alone. Smart. Smart. A man of few words. I can- I can respect that. I can't wait for the big swoop race. I hear the Volkers have a new engine that's gonna break all the records. Huh? What do you what? do? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them whack up his head tails. Don't Oof. worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more uh, interested in the uh, Okay, dude. Keep your hormones in check. I just want to ask some questions. Oh my god, yes. Keep your hormones like in check. And I don't like yours. I'm used to people treating me with respect. I don't care who you work for, you seem like a slime ball. I don't have to take this abuse from you. Abuse? You're the one relax. being a creep. Shut off and find someone else to bother. I want to watch the dancing girls. 
I mean, I guess I should expect low lives like him in a place like this. I told you to leave me alone. So give Mission. Me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. Little girl, you should not be in a bar. There's no place for a little girl. If little smart girl, she run away home now. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Little girl needs lesson in manners. a little help here. I need you to rip the legs off some insects. Mission, I'm busy. They just bought my food. They just. <laughs> Uh, Wookie, no problem with you, little girl. We want no problems. Little girl, lucky she has big friend. <laughs> uh, I can chit chat with them in a minute. Ah, uh, yes, this is the... They invented this species for this game. This is the species I was talking about. Look at this deal. Like, which part is the front? Karth, get out of the way. Karth, for you. Go away. I don't know, like, what, like, is... I'm confused. So, like, does this thing have two brains? I'm so confused. Let's chit-chat. Yeah, you want, uh... You come to stare at... Like us so others at Terrace, you think we are strange? Um, I just have questions, dude. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You're a freak. I'm not gonna be petty like that, I'm just curious. Questions. Questions, what kind of questions? Um, the scientific kind, perhaps. What planet are you from? Uh, you could say... Um, you have ears for O2, voices create the name. Four ears hear the true sound. Oh. Uh, but he, you would be kind to call it a uh, small world off of what, the small world off of running trade route. Huh. What kind of creature are you? In one voice tongue, you would call our kind part of what? Paragru? Paragru? I, I am bad at pronouncing things when it's in my own language to begin with. What? Oh, I noticed your other head didn't doesn't say much. Nothing that would you would hear at least. Oh, okay. Uh. Tell me about your home world. Uh, talking about my home only makes the quarantine more difficult to bear for good as human, but we do not wish to remind, to be reminded of it. Okay. Alright, that's kind of it. Arth move dude uh -huh. move Ooh, what happened there okay something happened there probably a shootout this game war is getting out of hand vultures aren't just attacking the hidden vex anymore they go after everyone oh my god this quest is amazing we'll do it in a minute Savik up to something, he'll bring famous bounty. Let's talk. I've not seen you before. Human, are you new to the bounty office? Yes, my name is Zax. I'm the one in charge here. Okay. Okay. 
If you're looking for work, there are bounties available, legal and otherwise. But they all pay quite well. Yes, I will. I would like some bounties. I'm the hunt with the answers. You know, best agents. What? You were for Davik. Uh, tell me about these bounties. There are two government contracts. One assassin named, and the other is a star killer. Ah, <laughs> star killer. Ha ha ha. These famous dust mask jewels between them, they've killed hundreds of people. True, true, true. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that, as long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Hmm. Are so okay with that, huh? Are they all the other bounties, Davis, special contract, once for Brunnenda uh, and Holden, Davik's men, and Largo, who own... Okay, I've dealt with two of these? Okay, I don't know about Davik's special <laughs> contracts. Justice is one thing. But doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. Well, whatever you say, cars. <laughs> and then there's... He used to work for Davik, and then he betrayed the exchange, and now Davik wants him dead, but this is information in your dad. Okay. Um, I want more details. How can I call credits for these contracts? That sounds more like a contract. I've got bounties I want to collect on. Oh, uh, human, that, uh, that's what I'm here for. Which bounty are you collecting on? Oh, Argo. Uh, you owe that money, you pay, yeah. Fargo should have here's 300 credits. Yay, 300 credits is not bad. Ah, all bounties are 300. That's fine by me. Um, you can't persuade. Thanks, plus we're doing business with you. You'll up that reward if you know it's good for you. Do you, I know that this fails, so you can't do that kind of stuff on uh, but what is the species of Jabba the Hutt? Giant, giant slug. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the. What's you doing business? You do good work, human. There's bounties on terrorists. Um, if you keep cashing, they'll work harder. Huh. I want more details on the bounties you're offering. I need some information. Um, I have information, but it's not free. For free, I'll give you what you want. Other stuff, but first, you have to come over and. Yeah, no. That seems a little high. I can't afford that much. I'll. I'm not going to pay you to ask questions. I don't do business. Okay. Um. Maybe you take some bounties, earn some money. Stuff gets its cut. It works out for everyone. Mm, yeah, I'm not gonna ask that. Goodbye, human. You come, want to earn credit, bounties, pay money. Oh, come see me if you want information. Mm, journal. Bounty, bounty, bounty. 